All right, on to running back number four. Uh, and this is my fault because I have Derrick Henry ranked at number three. And a lot of people, do, a lot of other people do too. You know, it's, um, th- this is a product of the fact that he is unbelievable what he's done the last couple years. And he, before he got hurt last year, he still averaged the most points per game. And we've talked about it from our podcast inception, Jason, that he doesn't catch the ball out of the backfield. And the only way that he continues to keep his value is if he keeps scoring touchdowns and he does, he's led the NFL in rushes, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, 2019, 2020. And then obviously he got hurt last year, but he was on pace to do it again last year. And he was going to have over 2000 rushing yards. If he would have finished the season healthy again, he would have been the first guy ever to go back to back. He had three different three touchdown games last year. (laughs) Yeah, he had rush. He had rushing yardage games of 182, 113, 157, 130 and 143 all in a row. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be 28. He's got a ton of mileage. Absolute ton of mileage. He's averaged over 100 yards per game each of the last three seasons. And the touchdowns that he scored 12, 16, 17, and 10, even though he missed eight games last year. He's a beast. And he's back. So that's why I have him ranked high. What did he finish as last season? Uh, that's a good question. Um, let me pull that up real quick. It, the, um, the sheet says 16. I'm just questioning that accuracy. No, I, th- I think that's correct. How do you miss nine games on IR and still finish as an RB2? Because he had 900 yards and 10 touchdowns. <laughs> like... In week eight is what he had. Yeah. During week eight's win over the Colts, broke a bone in his foot. I yeah, there were, uh, what, five guys that had more rushing touchdowns than him last year? And he only played in half the games. That's that's obscene. Um, I I know <laughs> that. And I, <laughs> I have him. We, we've been so down on him. I don't want to even. S- and I just can't do it anymore i I just just can't i can't do it okay okay i have him at seven you have him at three it's i'm not worried about the health going into the season to me it's i mean it's gonna be nine dude box every week nine defensive players are gonna be in the box every week aj brown is gone yeah and if they don't tackle him there's a, a safety between him and the end zone like I, I so you're basically honestly, saying you just, don't give a shit. It doesn't matter no, that AJ Brown's gone. I don't care. You know, they should just they should just run their goal line offense every play and just beat but, the piss out of everyone. AJ Brown being gone is why I have him down. That's why I have him at seven. Because I think that the offense is worse. I think that they are hungover after the playoffs. I and AJ Brown is gone and Traylon Burks hasn't really showed much yet. Not that he won't, but right. I just, I would much rather have somebody that is going to have passing down work in a passing format scoring system or risk, you know, reception based scoring system. than yeah. Deal with Derek Henry it's- having 15 dudes in the box. You never want 15 guys in the box. 